Welcome to Econi Oyster Company. Uh, today we would like to show you our smoked oyster processing. This company was actually founded back in 1982 with our smoked oyster products. So here we go. Our process starts with using fresh shucked oysters and cooking those in a steam kettle to firm up the meats. We'll put a quick brine on them and then we'll go on into the smoke room where our crew will be racking these oysters individually onto stainless steel screens which are then slid into our smokehouse. The smokehouse was custom built. It's all horizontal airflow and we closely regulate our temperature and smoke density to get the product that we're after. My name's Sharon, and I'm the smoke room manager. This is where all of our smoking is done, the canning, the labeling. Usually when we start the smoking part, I bring seven or eight like five-gallon buckets in, rack those up. They're already pretty much cooked and brined. If I'm adding the flavor, like hots or teriyaki or lemon pepper, usually I'll make the sauces like the night before, and I'll bring them back here and just add it into my buckets in the bags, and you mix it in the bag to get them all coated nicely. Then we rack them and smoke them that way. It takes a lot of time. Yeah. So they all have to be arranged on there so they don't overlap or touch so they get nice even smoke. This thing, that does all the smoking. Then there's tubing back here. And this part of the machine here pulls the smoke in. Smoke and heat, actually. I'm trying to get them all to the same temperature so it's kind of moving around in there, the smoke. And we've got a thermometer here put into the oysters that'll read this and I'll go on to there so I'll know the temperature. It keeps track of everything, like the time you start it, the date, and when you take them out. I just light a little corner of it. And after a while, it'll spread around in there. And this right here will draw it. That's like the vacuum almost. Sucks it. And that's the wood chips in there. This thing will rotate around and kind of pulls them down out of there. Feels a little dry in there. So I'll add a little water and get a little more smoke that way. If you don't keep it damp enough, you can get a fire going in there, so you gotta be careful. Just mix it around. I think that's good. That's the smoking process. <laughs> now the rest of it just kind of goes on its own. Here at Econia, you know, our smoked oyster is something that we're very proud of. They're our own recipes, which every step along the way, we've actually perfected it just a little bit here and there. All of our smoked oysters, the ingredients are all natural, and we're very proud of our, our smoked oyster line. Yeah, it feels good to be able to produce a natural, sustainable food product. You know, it's totally farmed in this day and age, you know, when our natural resources are all getting depleted, this is something that we can say, you know, we're actually enhancing the environment, the product, and getting a good product out there. It feels good. The company started by smoked oysters. They got kind of famous for it and built the company up more and more. Going from one little building to, he's got many buildings and a lot of employees, which is nice for our community. My dad started this business, him and my mom rented a little piece of land and they started growing oysters on it and originally they just smoked them at their back at their house and it grew into this, which has about 50 full-time employees now. Maybe around 80 or 81, uh, the first crop was coming off and I built a smokehouse basically out of a few sheets of plywood and uh, set it up in the front yard and sit up there and kind of watch it catch on fire at times. We used to just build a fire right on the concrete and eventually the concrete blew up. <laughs> so we had to modify it. But anyway, we started figuring out how to smoke the oysters. We started giving them away and people said, oh, these are good. You know, you should sell them. <laughs> From there, we just kind of gradually built on the fresh part and then the smoke part just kind of went along with that. It's kind of amazing to think about what my dad started and to kind of learn as he's gone along too. He always tells this really funny story, you know, being in college and never having seen an oyster before <laughs> and, and then just kind of having this like drive to start something and build something 
to where it is now is kind of amazing. The business, the smoked oyster business, just kept growing. When I started in 1988, we ran that smokehouse for 15 years. And the smokehouse that we have now roughly will hold 150 pounds of oysters. So we're always looking at ideas or, or new developments and different flavors. Whatever twist we can put on something, we try to. Perfect. At this point, we have five different flavors in our cans and four different flavors in our fresh pack. And those flavors are the original, which is a slight salt and brown sugar brine, our habanero hots, our teriyaki, and a lemon pepper. And the fifth flavor, which is strictly in the can, is a barbecue. Well, thanks again for joining us at Econi Oyster Company. We certainly hope that you will have an opportunity to enjoy these wonderful Willapa Bay oysters.